Your results will turn those who ignored you into fans. So don't slow your progress because you're trying to convince other people. Don't slow your progress because you're trying to drag too many people with you. Sometimes you're not hitting your goals because you are carrying the weight of those around you. And some people are just not ready to go where you are going. And you've got to recognize that. Do not yield to distractions. Focus on you. So many people dream big dreams, but they never take any action. If you don't believe in yourself, you've already lost the battle. Not believing in yourself is a losing battle because either you won't try at all or you will convince yourself that you can't do it. And when you convince yourself that you can't do it, your results are going to confirm what you believe. And when your results confirm what you predicted, then you're gonna say, see, this is who I am. Why should I even try? That is where you begin to fall short of your goals. You fall short of your goals when you predict that you're not going to hit them. And sometimes you're too focused on probability. You're asking yourself, well, what's the likelihood of this happening? versus focusing on the possibility. Asking yourself, how would my life change if I accomplished this? Ask yourself that question and don't wait on approval from anyone outside of you. And don't feel bad because you feel like no one is cheering for you. No, you've got to decide that you are your biggest fan. You've got to decide that you're gonna finish what you started if you don't have one person supporting you. If nobody acknowledges you, acknowledge yourself. If nobody supports you, support yourself. You achieve your goals only when you are disciplined enough to keep showing up when you don't feel like it. So don't just talk about what you want to happen. Commit to making things happen. Be an action taker. And recognize that you don't have to be jealous of anyone. You don't have to compare yourself to anyone because you have the ability to create the life you want. So how about this? How about you try comparing yourself to the person you were 30 days ago? Over the last 30 days, have you learned and implemented something new? Are you mentally and emotionally stronger than you were 30 days ago? Have you stressed yourself or have you pursued comfort? These are the types of questions that you should be asking yourself. Why? Because winning requires focus. Winning requires intention. It's not enough to, to just do physical strength training. Physical strength training is not enough. You also have to train your mind to handle stressful situations. You also have to increase your capacity to handle rejection and disappointment. Why? Because when you train your mind to be strong, you are less likely to quit when you encounter resistance. So what do you believe about you? How do you talk to you about you? Take a moment to think about what you've been saying to yourself about yourself. The good news is that your mind will believe whatever you tell it. So make sure that you are speaking your desires and not your fears. You get to choose how your mind serves you. You get to choose whether or not you will pursue peace or toss and turn at night because you're not seeing the results that you desire to see. Everyone is given 24 hours per day. Some people are super productive 
while others are not productive at all. Some people set boundaries while others allow distractions to slow them down. If you only remember one thing that I shared, I want you to remember the importance of valuing every moment that you are gifted. For many years, I didn't realize how valuable my time was. In fact, during my battle with depression, I would use every free moment that I had to myself to cry. It could be while driving my car. It could be during my lunch break. I had literally developed a habit of using my free time as an opportunity to think about just how unfair my life was. But one of the best decisions I've ever made was the decision to put in the work necessary to have a rewarding and joy-filled life. After years of overwhelming sadness, I finally realized that I had been wasting time that I could never get back. So I had to change my mental narrative. Am I problem free right now? Of course not. But I do understand that worry and unhappiness is a distraction. So if unhappiness will not resolve your problem, doesn't it make sense to at least attempt to enjoy life? You know, it is possible to smile and enjoy your life even when you are going through a difficult situation. We all have valley moments. You just have to decide that you will not remain in the valley. I don't want you fighting meaningless battles. I don't want you trying to carry unmotivated people. I want you to say, you know what? I'm going to do this despite what's going on around me. You've got to recognize that your now is valuable. You've got to recognize that your now is critical to your success. So I have one last question for you. How will you use the gift of now?